In 1886, Adolf Meyer, a German agricultural chemist working in Holland, was studying a disease of tobacco characterized by a pattern of light and dark areas on the infected leaves. He proposed the name Mosaic Disease of Tobacco and proceeded to try to determine if this disease had an infectious origin. Meyer took the affected leaves and ground them up with water to produce a clear, soluble extract of leaf components, which he then injected into healthy plants. In nine cases out of ten, these plants showed all the symptoms of the disease. Meyer then attempted to culture in pure form the organism that caused the disease using the standard techniques of his day for growing bacteria. Surprisingly, this search failed to isolate a bacterium or fungus in pure form, even though the disease could be transmitted like any other infectious disease. Koch's postulates could not be satisfied, and Meyer concluded that this disease was caused by a bacterium whose special nature prevented its culture, but which certainly would be revealed in future studies. In the meantime, Chamberlain filter candles were produced, special filters that had pore sizes too small, about 0.1 to 0.5 micron, to let bacteria through. In 1892, a young Russian scientist, Dmitry Ivanovsky, who was studying tobacco mosaic disease, reported to the St. Petersburg Academy of Science, I have found the sap of leaves attacked by the mosaic disease retains its infectious qualities even after filtration through Chamberlain filter candles. The tobacco mosaic agent, which failed to replicate, that is, to increase in strength, in cell-free culture, but appeared to grow on leaves, was smaller than anything previously described. Ivanovsky pointed out the possibility that a toxin secreted by a bacterium caused this disease. Toxins do not replicate themselves. Six years later, in the Netherlands, Martinus W. Barzernik repeated Ivanovsky's experiment and showed that an infectious agent able to replicate in the leaves but not in the filtered solutions could transmit the tobacco mosaic disease. The submicroscopic filterable agent could be diluted manyfold and when placed upon tobacco leaves would produce many copies of itself that could be diluted again and shown to transmit disease. This plant pathogen, now called tobacco mosaic virus, was the first living replicating member of the submicroscopic world to be recognized. These observations were rapidly followed by the isolation of a filterable animal virus, the foot and mouth disease virus of cattle by F.A.J. Luffler and P. Frush in 1898. The first human disease shown to be caused by a filterable agent smaller than any known bacteria was yellow fever, recognized by the U.S. Army Commission under the direction of Walter Reed in 1900. Have a great day.